All right, so we published our course, and when we click on it, you'll see it actually works. So what we have here is when I click on here, and, and notice the it says slide one of four here. Notice when I click on the slides here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, click here. You'll notice the text box uh, works. I can click here. You'll notice the light box effect works. I can go ahead and uh, click this, and this should take me back. So you'll see all the linking works. If I click this, it animates. Um, and then the hyperlinking here works. What's nice is because I use the masters, the hyperlinking works. I didn't have to um, mess around with adding hyperlinks on all the slides. So that's really nice. Now a couple of production techniques though. So one is you'll, you'll notice if I go back to one, I'm on slide one. When I play it, you'll see slide one's going to play and then it's going to auto advance to slide two. And then it's going to auto advance to slide three. So uh, what I have to do is I need to make sure I go in and uh, change the way the slides advance. Another thing is um, right now I have it no sidebar view, but if I change that and I have it in sidebar view, uh, you'll notice all of these slides show up. Now I don't want the learner to know that there's a bunch of slides. I really just want them to know there's one slide. So we're going to go ahead and change that as well. So we've got everything working right, and then we're going to go back and change some some things and I'll show you a few uh, production techniques uh, to, to make it work better and, and be more efficient when you're working in PowerPoint. So let's look at the PowerPoint slide again. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go into Slide Properties Manager and make sure that it's set to Auto Advance. So let's go ahead and click on Slide Properties Manager and um, what we want to do here is just um, make it all Auto Advance. There's only four so I'm just going to click on them and change them uh, manually. If you want to, you can click and select and then right click and then uh, uh, change how they advance that way. Um, the other thing I want to do is I don't want these slides to show up, so I'm just going to right click. I'm going to select these three slides. I'm going to right click and I'm going to put hide in navigation panel. Now the slides are still there. I'm just going to hide them so the learner can't see them. And the other thing is if I had a fifth slide, what I want to do is go into branching here and control how the player uh, navigation works. So I want the back buttons to go uh, back to slide one rather than, you know, if I'm on slide four and I hit back, I don't want it to go to the text bubble. So I've got to change my branching. So we're going to do that real quick and we'll just have them all go back to slide one here. Um, and that's pretty simple to do. And then if I had, um, if I had other slides, and I would do the same thing for the forward buttons as well. So let's go ahead and change the forward buttons to go uh, to slide one as well because we don't uh, really want them uh, to go. The other thing I could do is if I wanted to lock them on the navigation, I can go ahead and use the lock feature here so they could only use the linking within the slide. Uh, but we'll just go ahead and set it up. Now if I had another slide under here, I would just have them jump over that using the branching feature. So we've got that set. And then a couple of just production ideas. So if we go back to the slide master and let's go ahead and look at our hyperlinking. So I've got these hyperlinked, oops, the wrong slide master here. I've got these hyperlinked boxes. And what I might want to do is um, go into the home button, into the select pane, and then I could actually title those boxes. So I could call those, like this could be um, link cup and this could be link um, Joe or whatever his name would be and, and then that just makes it easier to, for me to know where the links are and I can turn those off and on uh, in the course. So um, basically it's build out the hyperlinking and then uh, set up the navigation controls and all of that. And we'll go ahead and publish it and take a look and see uh, how that's changed in the course. So. I'm um, going to close out the slide master and we'll just go to articulate and we're going to publish it. All right, so now when we look at the course, you'll notice it only says slide one down here. And um, I can click on these and that activates it. So you can see the hyperlinking works, my light box works, I go ahead and come back, my animation works, hyperlinking works. And um, if we look at this here, you'll notice in the slide menu there's only one slide. So uh, that's pretty much how to do that. So you've got a couple of really cool production techniques in here. And it's just a matter of uh, practicing those. And then you can really do anything you want to using that triggered uh, effect to go to a different slide.